There is underlying power within all of this. And that is the power of association because who you surround yourself with is going to be a product of who you become. By surrounding yourself with like-minded people who are encouraging, such as within the NSA, within Toastmasters, or a nonprofit that fulfills a cause that you believe in, or any other organization that you are passionate about, is surrounding yourself with people who are reaching you up to a higher level is incredibly powerful and it's incredibly important. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Marvin here from BacksideOfFear.com. If you find value here, consider subscribing. I make new videos each and every week. And today we're gonna to take a deep dive within episode 13 of the Gift Doctor series, where they're out in the middle of nowhere, spoiler alert. And so if you haven't seen episode 13, you might wanna watch that first. But they're out in the middle of nowhere after all those events occurred and they had to camp overnight. And then, Upon them, upon Veda and Jace communicating with one another, she discovered that Jace also has a stutter. And then Maximus and Jace both ended up connecting as the first meeting people for the first time where they before never met anybody else who had a stutter. And at that moment, they didn't feel alone. Like they were alone in the world with their own circumstance. And that's kind of what you can experience when venturing out. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about being alone and why nobody needs to be alone. There's numerous things that you can do that are simple, many things that are even free, that you can surround yourself with a great environment of people that can help bring you to a new level. In a moment, I'm gonna give a few examples on some organizations and things that you can tap into to arrive at a stronger sense of purpose and a strong feeling that you are not alone in this world. The idea is, is to refrain from being more so isolated because when you're isolated, it can get, you can get stuck into a habit and a cycle where you really just don't wanna be seen. You, you just want to just maybe go out and about as little as possible and then you just get into that habit and then it just becomes more and more difficult and challenging being out in an environment where you have to engage but the more you get active the more you engage then the more the more purpose the more fulfilled you can be the more friends and people you can meet the more opportunities you have to network opening up new opportunities and the more experiences you can get from life the first that I'd like to talk about is the NSA. This is if you live in the United States. I'm sure there's other organizations across the world that you can look into as well. I'm not fully familiar with those organizations, but within the United States, we have the National Stuttering Association, which is NSA for short. You know, sometimes it can be con confused with, you know, like NSA, the National Security Agency, or the NSA, the National Speaking Association. So there's a lot of NSAs. So a new one that we're talking about today is the National Stuttering Association. And this is a free organization and you can attend chapters. Typically there's multiple chapters within a particular state. So there's chapters all across the United States. The way the NSA works is there are chapter meetings, oftentimes held once a month. And in those meetings, they're free to attend and it's a support group for people who stutter, talk about and share experiences. It's pretty open as far as the organization and structure of the meetings. You can even practice organizing and leading the meetings yourself as well as so you can develop a little bit of leadership skills within there. And you can also interact with other people who stutter. So it's a great support group and we can help one another and build each other up and help each other to have an increased level of confidence. So that's one thing I highly recommend is looking into the NSA. A second organization, and this one isn't necessarily free, but it's certainly low cost, and that is Toastmasters. For Toastmasters, it's only $45 every six months to, to join as a member. And you can visit any club across the world, essentially. There is about over 15,000 clubs across the world. Clubs themselves will have specific club dues that they will charge. Some will charge $6, some like $18. So it's a range that depends on the needs of the club. But at the most, you'll be paying about $60 every six months for a Toastmasters meeting. 
Toastmaster meetings can happen either once a month, twice a month, three times, or they can happen weekly. It just depends on the club and they meet at various different times. So it's typically very easy to find a club that will fit you. And in a typical Toastmasters meeting, you would have speeches that are given. You can plan and practice delivering a speech to an audience. Like often there's about 10 to 30 people in attendance to a Toastmasters meeting, sometimes more, sometimes a little less. It just depends on the club. And you can also participate in various roles throughout the meeting. So just like within the NSA, where you can lead the meeting, you can also lead the meeting in Toastmasters, where you'll be called the Toastmaster leading the meeting. And there's other roles such as you can lead table topics, doing impromptu speaking. You can practice impromptu speaking as well by giving an impromptu speech on a topic that the table topic master gives you in that moment. And it's a great environment where everybody is very supportive. You can meet new friends, you can network, and you bring your confidence to the next level. And in those particular environments, you'll notice that you're surrounded by people, you get surrounded by like-minded people, like either within the NSA or within Toastmasters. And, and then you don't feel alone. You're engaged in an environment where you can grow. There are other opportunities that are certainly spread far and wide, and that is to get engaged and active within a nonprofit. Because nonprofits, they're centered on making a difference, making an impact towards a particular cause. So you can get plugged into any nonprofit that you're passionate about. And that's another way that you can plug in and increase your level of purpose and not feel alone. As a person who stutters, once you start venturing out, you more likely will run across somebody else who stutters as well. I know I have personally myself, during my six years that I've been in Toastmasters, I've run across several people who have also had a stutter. It's just one of those environments where somebody who stutters is looking for an opportunity to just try to, just try to push past their stutter and really try to find their voice. You can watch episode 13 as well as all the other episodes within the Gift Doctor series by clicking the link right up there. In the comments below, share any thoughts and experiences that you've had where perhaps you're in a group or an organization that really made you feel like you had a strong purpose. Share that in the comments below. Like and share the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, it's amazing what you can achieve on the other side of your fears.